Welcome to I Am A Woman and I'm your host Teray. Thank you so much for coming back. So listen, I just wanted to hop on here really quick and just encourage you. So if you've been following me for any time at all this year, you know at the beginning of this year, we started Optimize 2021. And all that simply meant is that we were going to best make the best and most effective use of a situation, resource, or opportunity. And meaning we're just gonna start where we are where we are we're not going to wait we're not going to wait for some day or one day which are not days of the week we're going to start right now and that has been a phenomenal i've gotten a phenomenal response from that but i'm also going to start this journey at the latter end of this year we're going to start talking about self-care and what that looks like self-care uh financially mentally spiritually socially uh, spatially at work everywhere we possibly can we are going to be talking about self-care all right um but i want to give you all a little encouragement um just to start where you are so today um, i decided that i was going to get my office cleaned and put it back in order okay so i started this yesterday actually i came down here and i knew i needed to get some work done and i'm i'm trying to be better about keeping um office things at the office and then doing things at home um, however, I did know that there were some things that I needed to get done. So I came down to my office and I wasn't optimizing the space. The space just felt very cramped and I didn't, wasn't getting the full use of the space that I do have. My office is quite small, but I get a lot done in here. Um, and so I rearranged some things and, um, I think I'm going to feel a little bit more productive now now I don't know about anybody else but for me I feel more productive when my office space is clean when things are in order when I know where I can get where I can reach and get to things very easy that makes me and helps me to be more productive and so it's one thing that I could do today to help me move forward to where I want to be tomorrow so I want to take you on a little office tour so you can see what I did it's nothing spectacular but I do believe that it will help you so let's go okay so here's the high view of my office okay so there is my desk I moved my desk from over here to over here and I pushed up against the far wall I pushed my screens all the way back and um, it gives me a full view of everything that I am doing. So my husband told me about the statistic that said, if you have two screens, you feel um, you get more work done. So he got me two screens, he put them up, and I think I'm going to be even more productive with my two screens. We'll see, I don't know, but we'll see. Um, but I did get that all set up and I needed to get my files off the floor and up so I put them on the side and I repurposed this little skinny table that I had right there and I put it on the side of my desk um, because it was the right height and I can easily get to my files that are on the left hand side of my desk which helps also then I have my bookshelf there I have my chair right here that I record in and I have my TV stand right there um, and then on this side of the office I have um, my mirror right there there's the mirror and then I also have this whole situation right here I keep my microphone there for the podcast and um, it's on the bottom shelf it's out of the way um, I have my don't quit uh, die right there that has that I really really like that I got from Hobby Lobby it says don't quit coffee break work hard and some other things on there um, but it's just another little motivation I got some little greenery go happening in here back to my um, bookshelf I got all of that cleared off and got it all decluttered and there's my books and all of that and then I have my planner that is ready readily accessible as well some projects that I'm working on right here then I have my to-do list as well as my calendars my social media calendars and then up here I have my to-do list for the week so everything is color-coded it lets me know what I need to focus on for that week or that day and for that week so it's all all of everything in a snapshot but it keeps me on track for the remainder of this month and for next month as well so I hope by looking at just this simple video of just cleaning your space and making it a little bit more effective for you um, is a little bit of motiva motivation for you to get up and get started today. So you want to be prepared. Make sure that you have a notebook, um, a pen, and a paper as we start this journey at the beginning of August of self-care. I can't wait to see you then. Okay? So God bless you, family. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you in my next video.